Oh. All right, how's it going, everybody? It's been a while. Is this thing going? Yeah, it's going. I don't know what's going on, man. All right, real quick. Ordered this from Real World Publishing back at the beginning of all of this. And it's not Real World Publishing's fault. They mailed it. I mean, they mailed it media mail, which ain't no big deal. He didn't charge me for shipping, so, you know, that's cool. Very early August. August 11th, I got a message from, uh, I had tracking on this. Got a message saying, hey, your package is left. Going to the next sorting facility. You just come into Memphis like on the 7th. It's so, okay, 11th, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, because Memphis ain't that far. It is the 25th, I'm pretty sure. It just got here today. It sat from, no, it's past the 25th, that's the day it shipped out. This is the 26th or 27th. This package sat in Memphis from the 7th to like the 25th. Like over two weeks, it just sat there and sat there and sat there. That's one drawback to media mail. It's cheaper, but it can take up to two months to get to you. So, what all the other bullshit going on at the post office, you know? Removing them assort machines when they're actually absolutely needed badly. Um, just all kinds of shit. So, what this is, this is the new issue of Sleeve Scene. I want to make sure this on the battle show. Oh my god, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Wow. Holy hell. Okay, we're going to start off with... Can I even show this? Ooh, I can't even show that. Okay. I'll show... I think I can get away with this. This is the big coloring book, Sugar Spread, volume one, number one. I think we'll come out that great. That is Robin Bougie's adult coloring book. That's kind of cool. Okay, the back cover of that can be shown. I'm saving that for last. Okay, yeah. This is Clay Goyle. I don't know what this is. It's like some little zine. It's a cool looking art on the back. We got Lady Tested and Mom Approved. Oh, this got like cards in it and shit, man. Scum Suck Comics and Cartoons. Art looks really cool on this. Another little mini comic. We got The Tormented. Oh, this is some old ass. Oh, Weird World Publishing put out Tormented. Okay, this is old public domain horror comics. And uh, the head of Weird World Publishing sat down and touched them up and put them out as a book. That is kick ass. That is really, and the work on them's gone. It's not going to come out the best because I'm so far away from the camera, but as you can see, it's really good work. Yeah. Okay, then we got Monster. It's another World War Publishing. It's two issues, uh, old public domain horror stuff that Bat 32, the World War Publishing's put out. I think I might have too much light this time. This is House on Haunted Hill. Oh. Oh, shit. I always love these covers. He did Nightmare. All seven issues of Nightmare, these covers. Go look these up on any public domain comic repository. These are some amazing covers. Oh, the insides are really nice, too. Mm -hmm. It took some time and worked on these. You can tell you actually did a little cleanup work. And then, the big thing, and, how much? Oh, okay. Sleeve Scene, issue four. Now, this is a thick, as you can see, thick book. It's all color. Man, there is not going to be much in this on the show. Wow. Oh, shit. Just so much great stuff about 42nd Street and exploitation. So I see a Dale Roy article. Pretty sure I see something in here from Strebo. I thought I saw his name. Oh, man. Uh, 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 okay, I gotta fuss at you, Matt. I told you when I ordered this, I wanted it signed. You didn't sign it. There's no signature. This is a great fucking package, man. I don't know how much all this would cost. I know this by itself is like 12 bucks with shipping. And look, you get a show world token. Y'all don't know what it is. Uh, the old uh, Pete Boots back in the day, you go up in there. 
they had live women behind the screen, like a little drop screen. And you put like instead of doing quarters, because somebody would bust that thing open and steal all the quarters out of them. They did tokens. You put it in there and like for each token you got so many months of watching this woman strip and dance and all this shit. That's what the show world token is in that one. That one's in pretty good little shape there. Oh yeah, I can't show that back cover. Shit. I didn't see that on it. Man. I got like, you know, three things of cold, old, reprinted old kick ass comics. Two little mini comics. I'm gonna look through these real quick. I don't know what this is. I like the cover. I really like the cover. Um the inside art's pretty badass too. Um Steel Panther. Is this Holy shit, it's Steel Panther's comic book. That's what that is. That's Steel Panther the band. Fuck yeah. What is this Playboy? Is this more Steel Panther? It's the same style of art. Huh. And then, of course, I can't really show that, but man, thank you. Thank you, man. You hooked me up, man. Thank you. I'm sorry it took so long to get here. I told you as soon as I got here, I'm doing one. It happened to come in out of I got time, so. Hope everybody enjoyed that. I'm going to get out. There's a storm of brewing, so I'm glad my power stayed on all this time for me to film this. I'm going to do something about these lights. This is too much light. I'm sweating underneath all this light. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that. Remember, if you did, give me that thumbs up. Leave a comment, subscribe, all that other bullshit. And for Cody LL, I know you're going to point out, yes, I have shown my face before on here. I just don't most of the time. I don't know why. Just one of my little quirks. Later.